What's new in Darktable 4.6? Darktable 4.6 was released yesterday, and if you don't know what's new yet, you might fall into a black hole. Of course, we've got the usual stuff, like dozens of bug fixes, which should make Darktable a lot more stable. A bunch of new cameras are also supported, like the Nikon ZF, Pentax K3 Mark III Monochrome, and the Sony A7C Mark II. Are there any new features? Indeed there are. But before I tell you about them, be sure to check out our Darktable course linked in the comments below if you need to get up to speed on the basics of Darktable. Now, onto the new features. In the Lens Correction module, there is now the option of Manual Vignette Compensation, which works even if your lens is not in the Lens Correction database. And speaking of the Lens Correction module, it can now also read embedded Lens Correction data from Olympus ORF RAW files. If you're the spray and pray type of photographer, there's a great feature for you in the film strip. By holding shift, you can scroll through your images a lot faster than just scrolling. And by holding control and scrolling, you can change the zoom factor. There's a new feature in the export module as well. For JPEGs, you can now control the chroma subsampling for exports. Using a higher chroma resolution may result in some improvements for certain images with small color detail. There are also speed improvements. Black and white TIFF and JPEG 2000 export speeds have been improved, and the chromatic aberration module is now about 10% faster when using the CPU. The image display speed in the map is also faster, but I couldn't test it because I'm too poor to afford a GPS. And now, onto the biggest changes. The Sigmoid module now has a section where you can set custom primaries. This will help you out with difficult lighting situations with bright areas close to saturation, such as high dynamic range landscapes with the sun in your frame. By using this new Primaries section, you can fine tune color more accurately to avoid strange effects like posterization. Leave a comment and a like if you want us to explain this module in more detail. Finally, there's a new module. It's the RGB Primaries module, and it can be found in the Color tab. It's sort of like a color mixer. It allows you to adjust the hue and purity of the RGB primary colors while preserving the color opponent relations. Unlike the color zones, which affects individual hues, the RGB primaries is excellent for subtle color adjustments while preserving the integrity of the color wheel. In this module, adjusting one color makes a similar adjustment to the opponent color to keep the image balanced. This module, along with the color lookup table, makes Darktable one of the most powerful color editors of all time. There are also a bunch of other small improvements and user interface changes, so be sure to download Darktable 4.6 today. Thanks to the developers for making such a great open source raw editor. We hope you enjoy the new powerful capabilities for editing images, but if you don't, shoot with an iPhone.